presented. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Nicole King. I'm the Director of Broker and Community Relations here at Healthcare Partners Nevada. Um, we are thrilled that you are joining us for our first virtual event. Um, our team is out in the community uh, quite often, um, meeting with uh, Southern Nevada residents to share all of the great things we do at Healthcare Partners. And, you know, we're excited that we can still connect with the community, um, even if it's through virtual means. So um, just wanted to share a little bit of information um, on how you can connect with our team going forward. Um, if you'd like to visit our website, hcpnb.com slash connect um, and provide your um, contact information like email or phone number. We'd love to keep you in the loop about upcoming events, um, you know, new locations and exciting announcements. Uh, we have a lot of really great things on the horizon uh, for the remainder of 2020 and beyond. So if you'd like to stay connected with our team um, to be in the know of all the exciting things that are happening, uh, please visit our website and submit your information. Um, we'd love to get connected. And with that, what I'd like to do is turn it over to Harry Class, who's going to lead us through some yoga. Um, I will not be playing music, so you guys are welcome to play whatever it is you like to listen to at home. Um, for us all transitioning to virtual platforms for classes and things, uh, I just wanted to bring your attention um, for props. Um, I have a blanket here. If you don't have a blanket um, that's firm, you can use a towel. Um, if you don't have a yoga strap, you're welcome to use a belt. Um, and then I use a block. If you don't have a block, you can use um, a thick book or a dictionary. Um, if not, I will leave the class and include uh, cues for not having any class. Um, so these can be used with this class or any other you know, class you're taking online, just do it. Um, use the resources you have around you. Uh, we'll start today lying on our backs. And position your arms somewhere comfortable. You can lay them on your belly or relax them out to, to your sides. And I'll have you all bend your legs for now, keeping the feet on the floor, and then you're gonna move your feet apart, so towards the outside edges of your mat. And then that way the knees can fall together. This will let your inner thighs relax. And you can close your eyes if you'd like. And just begin to bring your attention to the room that you're in. Noticing the weight of your body on the floor. The way the clothes that you're wearing feel on your skin. And then begin to release any tension that you might be holding in the muscles or on your eyes or in your forehead. Relax the muscles in the jaw, and even in the back of the tongue. You can let your body feel heavy here. Your weight is completely supported by the ground. And begin to notice the breath. Without changing or altering anything, just noticing the way the air enters and leaves your body. Notice how the chest rises and falls. Feel as the ribs expand and contract. Allow the muscles in your belly to be soft, so it can rise and fall with the breath as well. Allowing the air to fill the whole cylinder of your torso. And 
And then we'll start to find our yoga breath. If you have any asthma or feel any congestion through the nose, just find a breath that supports your work. To move into an ujjayi breath, you'll begin to bring the air in and out through just the nose. And try to bring the inhales and the exhales to equal length. So one isn't longer than the other. Again, you can return to a breath that feels comfortable for you at any point in your practice. We'll just begin to find some movement through the head and the neck. So allowing the ground to massage the back of your head, just turn your gaze to the left. Maybe you'll find a nice gentle stretch through the right side of your neck. And slowly turn your gaze to the right. Once again, turn your gaze to the left. Let the shoulder heads remain heavy. And turn your gaze to the right. Any amount. Last time, slowly roll your gaze to the left. And then back to the right. Good. Bringing the gaze back to center. You're going to heel to the feet towards each other. And on an exhale, bring just the right knee in. You can hang on to the shin or the back of the thigh. If you'd like to increase the stretch to the hips, straighten the left leg so the whole leg is on the floor. Keep bringing the right knee towards the armpit, any amount. And then we'll start to warm up the hip a little more, taking the right knee and the right hand, lower the knee to the right. You can let the rest of your body roll with the leg any amount. And then slowly take the knee to the left. You're going to pass it off to the other hand. And again, slowly take the knee to the right. And then back to the left. Last one. Slowly bring the knee to the right. And then back to the left. And bring the knee back to center. You're going to find the back of the thigh interlacing the fingers, warming up the back of the leg muscles, flex the foot. You're going to stamp the foot to the ceiling. And then slowly bend the knee again, keeping the hands nice behind the thigh. Inhale, slowly press the heel towards the ceiling. And exhale, relax the leg. Last one. Slowly straighten the leg. Imagine like you're pulling the kneecap toward you. And then let the leg bend. Yeah, find a little movement in the foot and then the ankle. Roll your foot clockwise. And counterclockwise. Point and flex the foot. Wiggle the toes. Take an inhale. On the exhale, you're going to put the right foot back on the floor and then bend the left leg to meet the right. Inhale, exhale, moving over to the left side, drawing the left knee toward you. If you straighten the bottom leg on the other side, do that again on this side. Right toes point straight to the ceiling. And then we'll do our hip roll. Slowly lower the left knee to the left, guiding it with the left hand. And then take the knee to the right. If you feel any discomfort in the low back, let the body roll with the leg so you minimize the twist. Bring the knee back to the left. And then over to the right. And slowly take the knee to the left, last one. And then to the right. Bring the knee back to center. Again, interlacing the fingers behind the leg. 
Flex the left foot, bring the toes towards the shin, and then begin to straighten the left leg any amount, just warming up the backs of the legs. And then relax. Let the foot come back towards the floor. Inhale, straighten the left leg. And exhale, let the knee bend. Last one. Inhale to straighten, stamp the foot to the ceiling. And then exhale, bend. And finding our movement in the left ankle and foot, roll the foot counterclockwise and clockwise. Point and flex the foot. Spread that in on the toes. Still the foot, we'll put both feet back on the floor again. Bring your arms onto the floor right next to you, palms down. You're going to press the backs of the arms and the shoulders into the floors. And then pressing through the heels on an inhale, lift the hips. And the exhale, lower. You want your toes pointing right away from you, so the feet are parallel with each other. Inhale, lift the hips for low bridge. And exhale, lower. And last one, inhale, lift the hips, you're gonna hold here. Imagine like you're reaching your sit bones to the backs of the knees. Then you're gonna bend the arms so they look like robot arms. And press through the backs of the arms, lift your chest towards your chin any amount. Finding a little more opening through the upper back. One more inhale, smooth, even pace breaths. And exhale, relax everything towards the floor. And once everything's back on the floor, you're going to slide the arms open so they make a T. Or if you're limited on space, you can bend the elbows so they look like a cactus. Take the feet wide so each pinky toe finds an edge of your mat. We're just going to do some gentle twists for the hips. Lower the knees to one side, doesn't matter which side. And then switch sides, bring them back to center, lower them to the other side. And we'll do one more on each side. Slow, mindful movements, lifting the knees up, lowering them again to the first side. And then switch sides again. Bring the knees back to center. Heel to the feet back towards each other. Take an inhale. On the exhale, bring the knees to your chest. Up and off, so the knees to chest pose. Again, you can hang to the shins below the knee or the backs of the thighs, whatever feels good for the knees and the back. Then go ahead and roll onto whatever side is facing your camera. You're going to press yourself up to seated. And this is where your blanket or your towel come in handy for sitting cross-legged on the floor. I'm going to sit on my blanket here. You're looking so the hips are more or less in line with your knees. If it doesn't feel good for your body to cross the legs at the knees, you can extend the legs and cross the legs at the ankles instead. Find your good posture, lift the shoulders up, back and down. Sit tall in your seat, so your sit bones root down into your blanket, but the crown of the head lifts up. Good, chin stays parallel to the floor. On an inhale, reach the arms out to the sides and overhead, you're going to let the thumbs tuck. Then using that little bit of leverage, you can squeeze the upper arms towards your ears. And as you grow taller, it's not uncommon for the lower to puff out. We want to keep them drawn into the body. So find more lift through the back ribs and the space between the shoulder blades. One more inhale and exhale. Switch the hooking of your backs. Imagine like you're lifting your armpits towards the ceiling or relaxing your shoulders towards the floor. And keep that smooth, even pace breath. One more inhale. And exhale, separate the thumbs and lower the hands. Whichever way.
way your legs are crossed, you're going to shift your weight back so you can switch the crossing, either the shins or the ankles. Finding your good posture again, spreading it across the upper chest. Take the hands in front of you so you can interlace the fingers. You're going to turn the palms away from you. Inhale, reach the hands overhead. And we're looking for length over lift. So if you find the elbows bending, lower the arms so you can keep them straight. Press the palms away. Let the air fill all four sides of the ribcage, front sides and back. One more inhale and exhale, lower the hands, turn the palms toward you. Now, whatever hands on top, you're going to move all of those fingers down at once. You switch the interlacing of your fingers. Might feel a little awkward. Turn the palms away and take the hands overhead again. Draw the belly button gently in and up so it supports the low back. And lifting from the back ribs, making some space between the neck and shoulders. Last inhale. And exhale, lower the hands, turn the palms, and then lift the fingers. If extend the legs in front of you and then sweep them off to the side. If you're sitting on something, move that off to the side as well so you can come onto your hands and knees. You're finding tabletop so your wrist is under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. Feet are untapped, so tops of the feet are on the floor. Make sure to spread the fingers and then rotate the hands out a little bit. Imagine like you're pressing the floor away from you and then we'll do some rounds of cat cow. So on the inhale, the belly lowers. And on the exhale, the back rounds. Again, inhale to lower the belly. Chest and zip bones lift up. Exhale to round the back. Relax the neck. Zip bones tip towards the floor. We'll do a few more. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, lower the head. Keep pressing the floor away from you. Last one. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Inhale, come to tabletop. We're going to tuck the toes behind you. You're going to lift the knees, begin to walk your hands towards your feet. You can bend the knees a lot or a little. Once all of the weight is back in your legs, take the hands on your hips and slowly come up to standing. So my room is not big enough so you can see all of me, so I'll be the headless yoga teacher for a little bit. But you'll see the rest of me. So come to the top of your mat. You want your toes and your palms pointing straight ahead. You can be touching or slightly apart, whatever feels better for your low back. We're going to do some half sun salutations. A sun salutation is a set sequence of movements that's paired with the breath. If pairing the movement with the breath is overwhelming, just find a breath that works for you. On your inhale, you're going to reach your arms out to the sides and up to the ceiling. Grow tall and long. On the exhale, forward fold. A little bend in the knees is fine. If the backs of your legs are so tight. Inhale, come up halfway, resting your hands above or below the knees. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, to arms out and overhead. Come back up to standing. And exhale, lower the hands. And we'll do that again. Inhale, reach the arms out and overhead. Press the feet down. Exhale, forward fold. Try to keep the weight even through the feet. Inhale to come up halfway, extend through the chest and come out of the head. Exhale, fold, let the head go. Inhale, take the arms overhead, come back up to standing. And exhale, lower the hands. And if you have a blocker book, go ahead and grab it. If not, that's okay. And then come back to the center of your mat facing your camera. You're going to set your block off to the right. Take the hands to the hips. And then step the feet apart a little bit. Slide the left heel away first. And then turn the right leg out. On an inhale, take the arms to your teeth. On the exhale, tilt forward. If you don't have a blocker book, just rest your hands on your shin. If you do have a blocker book, 
You want to find a setting so you can reach evenly through both sides of the torso. This is trichomastana triangle. If there's any discomfort in the top shoulder, lower the hands or head. You want to keep pressing the feet down like you're sealing the outside edges to the floor. And then lift up through the thighs using our muscles to support the pose. Extend the top arm if there's no discomfort in the shoulder towards the ceiling. And keep a smooth, even paced breath. If you have a block or book, go ahead and grab it. Inhale, come back up to standing. Parallel the feet. And then step the feet together. Set your block or book on the other side. And then step the feet apart again. This time we'll slide the right heel away first. Just bump it away from the toes. And then pivot the whole other leg out so the toes point to the short edge. Inhale, take the arms to a T. On an exhale, tilt forward. If your hand is resting on a blocker book, make sure the fingers are pointing the same way as the toes. Keep spreading across the upper chest and between the shoulder blades. Find your smooth, even face breath if you lost it. Pressing evenly through all four corners of the foot. Big tough kinky toe, inner and outer feet. You can leave your blocker book this time. Inhale, come back to standing. Parallel the feet. Take the hands to the hips and step the feet together. Okay. Set your blocker book off to the side and head back to the top of your mat. We're going to add on to our sun salutation. Turning the arms forward, palms face forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold again. This time you're going to bend your knees so you can put your hands on the floor. And then step back so you can lower your knees to the floor. Take an inhale, press the floor away. Exhale, elbows bend straight back, lower all the way down so your whole body's on the floor. <laughs> Untuck the toes. Soles of the feet are pointed towards the ceiling. On an inhale, reach your chest forward so much it begins to peel off your mat. Using the strength of your back and not the strength of your arms, this is Ujjangasana Low Cobra. And exhale, lower. Keep the gaze towards the floor so the back of the neck stays long. Inhale again, lift the chest forward and up, lift the shoulders away from the floor. And exhale, lower. Find some work in the legs. Press the feet down. Eventually, you're going to reach the feet to the back of your mat. And then inhale, reach the chest forward and up. So again, you're growing longer. And exhale, lower. Inhale, come to tabletop, hands and knees. Make sure the fingers are spread and the hands are turned out. Go ahead and tuck the toes. Firm the low belly. Lift the knees and then press the hips back any amount. And then slowly straighten the legs. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal out the heels here if that feels okay. If downward dog doesn't work for your body, lower your knees and find child's pose. Alternate the lifting and lowering the heels while walking your dog. And go ahead and put a generous set of the knees. You're going to walk your hands toward your feet again. Inhale, come up halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, take the arms overhead, stand back up. And exhale, lower the hands. Yes, head back to the top of your mat, find your blocker book, or blocker book. Then come to the middle, set your block off to your right hand. Hands come to the hips. You're going to step your feet a little bit wider this time. Make sure your toes are pointed straight ahead. Left heel slides away. Right leg rotates out. Inhale, take the arms to a T. And then exhale, bend the right leg. Warrior two. Pressing through the right heel. Inhale to straighten. And exhale to bend. Good. One last time. Inhale to straighten. Keep lifting up through the belly. And exhale to bend. 
Good, stay here. Imagine that you're lifting your ribcage off the waist. Find some length between the armpits and the hips. Take an inhale, and then exhale, tilt forward. Your hand is going to lower either to your block or your book. If you don't have one, set it on your thigh. Extended side angle. And then turn your chest a little more towards the hand. Keep the bend in the front leg. Press more through the heel. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Straighten the bent leg. Parallel the feet. Lower the hands to your hips. Keep the feet wide. Take an inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Wide leg forward fold. A bend in the knees is perfectly fine. Lower your hands to the floor. Fingers point forward, elbows bend back, and relax the head and neck. If it helps, you can shake your head a little bit. Yes, yes, no, no. Keep pressing evenly to the inner and outer arches. See so if you can draw the breath into the belly more. Inhale, take the hands to the hips, pause for the exhale. Inhale, slowly stand up and bring the feet together. Lower the hands next to you, palms forward. Half sun salutation A. Inhale, bring the arms overhead, tip the sit bones down. Exhale, forward fold, lengthen as you lower. Inhale, come up halfway. Bring the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, hold. Lift up through the thighs. Inhale, take the arms overhead, stand back up. And exhale, lower the hands. And move your blocker book off to the other side. Coming back to the middle, find your wide legged stance again. Slide the right heel away. Turn the other leg out. Inhale, take the arms to a T. Exhale, bend the left leg. Make sure the thighs are rotating out so the knee isn't falling in. Inhale to straighten. Keep the knee tracking out over the toes. Exhale, bend. Good, last one. Inhale to straighten. And exhale to bend. Pause here. Imagine like you're spinning the inseam of the back leg away from you while keeping the bend in the front leg. Good. Inhale to lift and lengthen through the spine and exhale to tip forward, extend its angle. And keep the low belly firm again, supporting the low back. Bring the upper arm of that right arm near your ear, unless there's this discomfort in the shoulder and then take the hand to your hip. Notice if any tension has crept back into the muscles of the forehead or between the eyes. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Straighten the bent leg, parallel the heel. Lower the hands to your hips and walk the feet together. Lower the arms next to you, palms forward. Inhale, take the arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, take the arms overhead, stand back up. And exhale, lower the hands. Good. Grab your block and set it off to the side. You're going to come back to the top of your mat. On an inhale, you're going to take the arms out overhead, hook the thumbs together like you did at the beginning. This time you're going to lift up from the belly. This is called a pelvic tilt. So the front hips lift up, the back hips tilt down. Bring the feet about hip distance apart. You're going to press through the heels as you bend the knees. This is chair pose. Keeping the thumbs hooked, firm the outer arms in. If you need to lower your arms to extend through the elbows, do that. One more inhale. Exhale, stand up and lower the arms. Good. Inhale, take the arms overhead, hook your thumbs the awkward way. And then exhale, sit back again. Chair pose. Firm your outer hips in as you spin the inner thighs down. The weight slightly back in the heels, but you're still pressing down through the toes. Inhale. Exhale, come back up to stand. Taking the hands to the hips. 
Step the right foot back. Hips are still pointing straight ahead. Adjust the turn out of the back foot so the knee's comfortable. Inhale, take the arms overhead and bend the front leg, warrior one. Lift up through the front hips, reach up through the rib cage. One more inhale, exhale, lower the hands, step the back foot forward. Step the left foot back. Again, hips point straight ahead again. Inhale, bend the front leg, reach the arms overhead. If the knee's going past the ankle, scoot the front foot forward. Bring the left hip crease forward and the right hip crease back. One more inhale, exhale, lower the hands, step the back foot forward. Good. We'll put all that together. Lower the arms next to you, palms forward. Inhale, take the arms overhead, sit the hips back, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, to come up halfway, gaze down. Exhale, to fold. Bend the knees and plant the hands. Step the feet back. If you can come to high plank, you can come to high plank instead, lift the knees. If not, you can lower the knees. Inhale. Exhale, lower to the floor. Untuck the toes, inhale, lift just the chest for cobra. Exhale to lower. Inhale to come to tabletop, hands and knees. And then exhale, tuck the toes to lift the hips down or facing back. We'll stay here for a couple breaths. See if you can bring your inhales and exhales to equal length again. And then inhale, you're going to walk your feet towards your hands. You need to walk your hands towards your feet. You can do that too. And keep it in the middle. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find chair pose. And exhale, come up to standing. And go ahead and come back to the middle of your mat facing forward. Plant your feet under your hips. Toes point straight ahead. You're going to shift your weight into the left leg. The weight shifts to the left. Hips point straight ahead, right leg rotates up. Lift the heel and slide the foot to the ankle. And really firm through the straight leg. Moving into tree pose. Bring the bottom of the right foot up the inner leg, any amount. You can always lower the foot so the toes are on the floor or keep the ball of the foot on the floor. Again, remembering the pelvic tilt, lifting from the front body, lengthening through the back body. Relax the muscles through the face. And you can change the position of your arms if you'd like. Move the hands to heart center. Or reach them overhead like a tree. Keeping that smooth, even face breath that you found at the beginning of And exhale with control. Lower the hands to the hips first. And then lower the foot to the floor. Shake out the legs if you need to. And then plant the feet under the hips again. Slide your weight into the right leg. Turn the left leg up. Lift the heel. And slide the foot to the ankle. Keep pressing the right foot down as you lift up to the thighs. Bring the bottom of the left foot up the inner leg any amount. And then when you're ready, change the placement of your hands if you like. You might notice one side is different from the other. And that's okay. Our balance is affected by everything from sleep to caffeine. The muscle imbalances through the hips. Keep lifting through the chest as you reach down through the sit bones with control. Lower the hands to the hips and then lower the left foot to the floor. Come back to the top of your mat. Lower the arms next to you, palms forward, starting in mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. And exhale, forward fold, long spine. Inhale to come up halfway. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees and plant the hands. Step the feet back. Lower the knees. Take an inhale. 
I'm going to exhale, take child's pose. So the hips sit on the heels. Ideally, the belly is resting on the thighs. However, if there's any discomfort in the hips or the back, you can separate the knees a little bit. And you can take the arms somewhere comfortable. If it feels better, you can fold them up next to you, rest your forehead on the floor, or you can stack your hands under your forehead. Imagine like you're breathing into your back body. So the back ribs expand and the low back spreads. Let your inhales bring space into your torso. Let your exhales begin to release into tension through the hips. Let your heart beat slow and find your smooth, even face breath. On your next inhale, come back to hands and knees. Keep your feet off to the side, come to seated. I'm going to turn on my mat to face you. You can do that too if you can see me better. Grab that blanket or towel to sit on if you have one. You're going to extend the arms, I'm sorry, the legs in front of you. And again, we're looking for length. So if it helps you find more length through the spine to bend your knees, that's preferable. On an inhale, grow tall. On the exhale, fold over the legs, walk your hands towards the feet. And instead of staring at your toes and lifting your chin, you're going to take your gaze down somewhere between your calves. Inhale, come up halfway, lift the chest towards the chin, and exhale, fold again. Any amount. Keep the toes pointed to the ceiling. Inhale, slowly walk the hands backward. Turn the right leg out, and then bring the bottom of the foot up in your leg any amount. If that doesn't feel good for your knee, you can put a block or foot underneath the bent knee. Inhale to grow tall again, and exhale to forward fold. Try not to aim for the extended leg or the foot. Just fold straight forward. And for the tight bodies, there's a tendency for the left shoulder to dip down towards the leg. So try to reach your right side ribs towards the floor. Inhale, slowly sit up. And you're just going to lift the right knee and set the foot on the floor. Inhale, reach the arms out to the sides and overhead. And your exhale, you're going to turn towards the right. The option of the left arm is either to wrap it around the bent leg, or you can take the knee to the outer thigh. And looking for legs, so inhale to grow taller. And exhale to increase your twist any amount. If you feel any pinching in your low back, release your twist. Allow your chin to remain parallel to the floor. And exhale, come back to center. Extend the right leg. Turn the left leg out. Bring the bottom of the foot towards you. Inhale to grow tall. And exhale to forward fold. Again, just folding straight ahead. Right toes point towards the ceiling. You can always put a little bend in the straight leg if the stretch along the back of the leg is too intense. This is Johnny Shirsasana A. Allow your inhales again to break space and your exhales to help turn off any muscles that are still active around the hips. 
the back of the leg. Inhale, slowly sit back down. Lift the left knee, set the foot on the floor. If it helps, you can extend the leg a little bit. If that helps you find a better twist for your body. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, turn towards the left. Allow your inhales to bring space through the spine and your exhales to use your core to help with your twist. And slowly come back to center. Extend the left side. Take your hands behind you a little bit. They're just there for support. You're going to take your right ankle, put it on your left side. Move your ankle outside the leg so it's not poking into your muscle there. And then flex the right foot. Sitting tall, you're going to begin to bend the bottom leg and back. You'll probably feel the stretch to the back of the leg and the hip. Keep that top foot flexed and the ankle firm to protect the knee. Make sure both sit bones are rooting evenly into whatever you're sitting on. And slowly bend the bottom leg first, and then the top. Take the left ankle, put it on the right thigh, and flex the foot, and then bend the right leg any amount. You would like more stretch. You're going to Scoot your touch towards your right foot. Keep the spine long and relax through the shoulders and neck. And slowly straighten the bottom leg first and then the top. Move all of your props off to the side. And go ahead and lie down on your mat again. Legs bent, take an inhale, exhale, hug the knees into your chest. If it feels good for your back, you can roll your body side to side. Then lower the feet to the floor, take the arms wide, and then take the feet wide, lower the knees to the right. You're going to relax here for a little bit. So see if you can give up the weight of your body into the floor. If it's okay for your neck, turn your gaze to the left to complete your twist in the upper spine. And letting go of any sort of efforting or need to move. Letting the belly be soft to accommodate the breath moving in and out of the torso. Slowly bring the gaze back to center. With control, bring the knees to center. And then lower them to the left. Once your body has settled here, you can turn your gaze to the right to complete your twist on this side. Notice if you feel any difference in the breath from the beginning of class to now. Do you find it moves more evenly and easily through the chest? Slowly bring the gaze to center and then let the knees to center. Feel to the feet back towards each other. Take one last knees to chest pose. If it feels good, maybe you can rotate the thighs. Circle the knees one direction and then the other. 
And then when you're satisfied, lower all of your limbs onto the floor. This is our final pose, Shavasana. Again, taking the arms somewhere comfortable if they're out to the sides and the palms to the ceiling. And then adjust so your shoulder blades aren't poking into your back or into the floor. You can allow the eyes to close here. Let the toes fall out to the sides. We're going to move into a three part breath. So keeping the inhales and exhales equal in length, begin to make the breaths just a little bigger. The muscles around the lips and then the jaw be at ease. On your next inhale, fill the upper chest first, and then the low ribs, and then the belly. Exhale through the belly, and then the low ribs and then the upper chest. Inhale once again. Fill the upper chest, and then the low ribs, and then the belly. Exhale from the belly, through the low ribs, and then the upper chest. Continue with this three-part breath. At any point, if you feel discomfort anywhere in your body, return to a normal breath. If there are any, are there any passing thoughts or feelings crossing your consciousness? Maybe you can just let them come and go in the background. Keeping your conscious attention on the movement of the air through your body. Are there any sections that feel closed off or blocked? See if you can use the breath to just soften the edges. Take one last three-part breath. And then begin to return to your natural breath. Again, if any passing thoughts or feelings cross your consciousness and take you away from your space here, use your breath to bring your attention back to your body. In a few moments, I will guide you out of Shavasana. You're in a safe space to simply exist. Not having to be anyone or do anything.
Begin to allow your in-house to break. Allow some small movements to re-enter your body, hands and the feet. Slowly reach the arms to the wall behind you for a full body stretch. And then roll onto your right side. Allow the head to rest on the upper arm. Draw the knees into the belly if that's more comfortable. And then using the strength of your arms, gently guide your body to a comfortable seated position on your mat. Bring the hands to heart center. You can allow the eyes to close and take a bow to the head. Notice the activity going on in your mind now compared to at the beginning of class. Noticing anything that's there now that wasn't there before. Maybe it's clarity or peace or patience. Allow yourself just a few seconds here to really marinate those good feelings that have bubbled up. It was an honor to lead you in your practice today. Thank you so much for coming. Namaste. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carrie. That was wonderful. We Thanks. really appreciate it. And thank you to all those that uh, came to join us. And we hope to see you at a future event soon. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank Thanks. you.